I'd like to give us an overview, please, Mr. Chairman. Um, our, we finally got back on track with our village revenues this month um, to the point that we're about 10 grand ahead of where we were. Uh, um, we're about 10 over budget, we're about 40 grand ahead of where we were last year. Um, so that, I, I think the issues with the, with the digest have been resolved um, at this point. Um, the only other item of significant over budget is in the prospect development trade show, which that's, of course, the project max stuff. Um, as that moves along, that a lot of that, um, um, I'll ask at a future date to be moved that below the line, so to speak, um, as we start turning it into incentives portion of um, what we're going to offer to project max, so, because this is not a, typically not a budgeted uh, type of event, um, but we, we stick it in that bucket um, until it until it gets finalized and you know, everybody's, it, it turns into a, you know, it goes from prospect to, to reality at that point. Any questions for Mr. Davis? The only comment I've got is you're reclassifying <clears throat> those large coverage expenses, not to incentives, but as incentives. As incentives. Yeah. Could you refresh my memory? <clears throat> you just told me I've for, forgotten. The voided checks in December 2015 for the right. engineering costs. Why right. were those voided? Um, they were, if I remember correctly, they were higher than um, that there were some changes. They ended up being higher mm -hmm. and they will be reissued at a, a lower amount. Is that correct? So corrected invoices. Correct. That's okay. right. right. Any more comments or questions? Chairman, I move the financial state exception is presented. Okay, we've got a motion to get a second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 All right. Financial 